Lindsay, what did you see 20 years ago today? The plane carrying the presidents of Rwanda and Burundi came down on the night of the 6th. I heard it come down. I rushed into the garden. I saw, I saw a, a, a like a flames. And then I went back to my house. I was at a friend's house. And then the phone calls started. And they were the phone calls from Tutsi friends, people I was working with, because I'd been living there for two months working for the UN Children's Fund. And those Tutsis were calling me and saying, they're coming, they're coming to kill us. I can hear them outside. Come and save me. Come and save me. And I was powerless. I listened to those calls, and I couldn't go and save them because I didn't know where they lived. I couldn't get out of my house for the first few days. There was a soldier there with a gun who made me stay inside. And eventually, on the fourth day, I took my car and I drove past him. And I drove through the road blocks with the men with the red eyes and the broken beer bottles and the machetes and the, and the corpses at the side. And I drove through the road blocks and I went to the Red Cross. And I went out with the Red Cross. And with them, I saw what was happening. I saw the bodies of four women outside a clinic whose throats had been slashed, the flies on them. I went to the hospital. I saw the blood running in the gutters. I saw a baby with her arm chopped off and the truckloads and truckloads of, of bodies coming in. That was what I saw in the first week of the genocide. Have lessons been learnt? I think some have been learnt in the sense that that was such a, a horror. I think we are now looking for genocide. In those days, nobody even used the word genocide. We didn't think of genocide we thought it was massacres, we didn't, we didn't realize. But when you look at what's happening in the Central African Republic, it's not the same situation, it's very different. It's a chaotic situation there, whereas in Rwanda it was a genocide, it was planned, it was organized. But in terms of the possibility of a reasonably small UN force being able to stop mass killings, I think that could have happened in Rwanda. I think it could happen in the Central African Republic. Whether it will, I don't know. Lindsay Hilson. Humbling evidence.